Uh, I could buy this, but my upgraded sword is better. So by. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Dude, one stone skin tonic is expen is as expensive as like a weapon, almost. I'll buy it. You'll not find a better price than that. It looks like all the other swords. The weapons are pretty standard so far, but I haven't gotten any like named well, weapons yet. Just long sword, bastard sword. I haven't gotten like a special weapon yet. So it makes sense that they all look kind of default. All right, there we go. Now Those it's, brushes, all right. oh, I just crafted one like an idiot. Anything else? Hold on. Made a whoops. And what do you want? Go on then. I'd like to sell this thing I just gave you. <laughs> uh, wait. Did I? Where's my? Finished, are you? It's equipped, right? Yes. Well, if you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. I'll be thankful you got that much. Way to waste 500 gil for nothing. Make it quick. Might actually be able to. You know where to find me. Might actually be able to get an auto save. Uh. Fifteen oh three. Doesn't tell me what time it is. Uh, there's a good chance that this would probably get me that gill back, but I'm not that worried about it. Let me see, I'm busy here. But the game auto saves Sorry, would it be? constantly, so if you make a whoops like that, you could probably get your money back pretty easily. You can thank me later. Now we're talking. Uh, wait, plus two is as high as I can go. It's interesting. Anything else? Well, so there's something else I can you make. Can't really make, that it. So I make the stuff that she sells, right? The sword I could. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. The stuff I can't. All the armor is like super default still, like. There's not even any reason for there to be a difference between the sashes and the arm guards because they both just give me exactly 30 defense. And then the upgrades are like the same too. Come again. Oh, I God. need some like not much bothered, abilities on these bad boys. Make it quick. So would it be? Okay. Uh, need a dragon talon to upgrade that. That it. I'll just leave it the way it is. Strangely. Ever since they taught me what side quests are, I haven't gotten a single side quest. 
Let's read about Garuda. The Warden of the Wind, who Benedicta transformed into during her ill-fated flight from the Empire. It takes the form of a fearful harpy, summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of its prey with hawk-like talons. Such is the icon's frenzy for destruction that even allies of the dominant of the day are, are wont to begin fleeing. English. <laughs> the battlefield when dark clouds gather overhead. Yeah, I was saying before, uh, yeah, it's, the, it's, you're right, it's the word want. Again, English. <laughs> Our want to begin fleeing. Yeah, that's a weird word that's, like, never used. I didn't even recognize it till you said it. Oh, we can do this whole quest, which ends with her boss fight. See, arcade mode, though, definitely seems like no need to do this until post game, because you get set stuff for it and you don't get any experience or anything from it. If anything, I should do stage replay if I want to fight her again. So that I get XP and stuff again. I wonder if I get like item drops too. Kind of want to try it, but I also don't want to get too, you know, overpowered, you know? So I'll be doing that whole thing again. I don't know though. I'm really curious to see if this is kind of baked into the gameplay, if you know what I mean? Like, if they expect you to do some stages twice. Arcade mode gives you nothing. It's like a bonus challenge mode where you get put into the stage with a certain level and certain equipment, and you have to try to get a high score. The only exception is your accessories are not changed. So... Technically, if I beat the whole game and came back and did it, it would be easier because I'd have better accessories. But other than that, it's kind of just a separate challenge mode. And you don't get anything from doing it. You don't get any experience or anything. But this, the stage replay, you do get experience and stuff. So this is like a... A quick grind, or even like a... Even like a, a boss farm, if bosses have like drops, which I don't think they do, but if they did, this would be kind of like a a way to hit the boss table over and over again, almost Borderlands-esque. I really like the way they have this set up. I've never seen a game like this have something like this where you can just select a stage and do it, you know? like it's It's almost like... It's like the remake, but better. <laughs> With the remake, you can replace, um, you can replay chapters, but there's kind of no reason to, because you've already beaten the game at that point, unless you're doing like hard mode. But here it's like, as you play the game, you can go back and replay and get more stuff. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I wonder if, this is baked into the game. Like, we're going to get to the point where stuff is getting way too hard and we need to go back and replay stages. Or, if this is just kind of a bonus, and if you do this, you're going to be like super OP and completely blast the story. Or, if it's kind of like the remake, where the first time through, you don't need to replay anything, but then the second time through, it starts getting hard and you might have to replay some stuff. Something like that. Pretty interested to see. I, I would be okay with either way. I would be okay if the whole story is basically just a one and done, but then after that, there's some kind of new game plus where like things get really hard and you need to go back and replay stages. Or if at some point we get to like stage six or something and it's super hard all of a sudden. And it kind of forces us to go back and fight some old bosses and get some new drops before taking on the next chapter. I'd be totally okay with that, too. 
because these are fun and i think it doesn't doesn't look like you can do this the skip cutscene option like you can with the other but that's okay but yeah really and there is one other thing we haven't seen yet but this is such a cool way of doing it I, this is something I would have never asked for, but I'm happy it's here, you know? <laughs> well, maybe not never asked for, but I wouldn't have thought to put this in. But now that it's here, it's like, oh, yeah, this is perfect. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. They gave me what I wanted without me knowing it. You know? Anyways, yeah, I'm, I really feel like we're just in this interesting story section because I've yet to get a single side quest since it taught me what they are so i still think we're kind of on the precipice of the game really opening up for real so let's a keep a going yeah it's like a more advanced chapter select but like i said it's it fulfills a much different purpose than Chapter Select did in Remake. Depending on how difficult they make the game going forward. If the game is super easy to beat without ever replaying something, then I kind of take that back a bit. It's probably just similar to... There he is. It's probably just similar to Remake. Wait! Five. What's that? The Dominant. The man who killed my brother. Are you absolutely certain? I've seen him every night for the past 13 years. Watched as the flames of his icon took Joshua. Get out! It? I'm here, and so's Togo. Don't worry about us. You've been waiting for this. Go! Sit! Forgive me. He's starting to really pledge allegiance to Sid all of a sudden. Game loves big rocks. I'm not here for you, Garuda. Probably should be. Big rock. this music though big rock I love how overly cinematic those are.
that attack is definitely useful in this fight. I like that dodge. It's hard to keep track of my abilities. There's just so many of them. Yeah, I need to start saving Deadly Embrace for when they hit 50%. I already used it, so... Actually, I got rid of it, didn't I? Oh, no, no, no. It's this move. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to... use that more often. 50. left for that stagger. That don't look good. Okay, don't try to attack. This is just a dodge move. Maybe I can shoot her. Got the stagger. Twelve hundred stagger damage. poke 4,900 damage okay I'm curious I, I'm very curious actually because it almost seemed like that attack wasn't supposed to kill her like I feel like there was more to that cutscene but because I did so much damage that part of the cutscene killed her like I'm genuinely curious if I like skip part of the cutscene there eh, maybe not because yeah no no it looked about right Maybe that just does however much health she has left. That final poke does, like, however much is needed to kill her. There's, like, some interesting health gates with the bosses where if they're almost dead, you just launch into a cutscene that finishes them. 
We have to get him to there first. Oh, well, she has that back. Kaiju battle time. Oh my god, look at me. This actually feels like a kaiju battle, like the way it's set up. The way the camera is. This is much, much different than that Phoenix battle, where it's basically on rails. This is like an actual kaiju battle. She's using her speed to her advantage here. Terrible idea. Do you see how much damage that did to me? This reminds me of like War of the Monsters. To the fact that like if we both do our uh, projectile attack, they cancel. This straight up looks like an actual like fighting game. But the way the moves work. Boom! Smacked her with a point-blank fireball. Is this Tekken 8? <laughs> Big rock. I'll break that. Garuda. I smashed that. Aerial Blast. I was going to say I dodged that, but apparently I do not dodge that. This is going to be my first game over, the freaking Kaiju battle. I don't know how to dodge any of her crap. How do I dodge this? Can I cancel it? That is a no. I 
I feel like I have to run, but Ifrit, don't run. Ifrit's a bit of a slow boy. <laughs> there you go, my first death. So I'm guessing at least with this, it's just going to be retry from the start of the kaiju battle. So this doesn't really give us a good idea. Hey, why is she hurt already? Is that... Maybe that happened in the cutscene, like before the battle started. I would hope so. I hope that it just give me free damage after one game over. Please tell me that's not true. The battle has checkpoints, but I get full health? I guess that's... That's kind of normal, like... I know like God of War did that too. A lot of games, like like action games, will do that kind of thing with bosses. It's kind of dumb though. Punish. Yeah, I was a bit too distracted with the spectacle of the whole thing. I got blasted by too many combos. So I'm guessing this is probably a checkpoint too. It does kind of make sense, too, so you don't have to watch these really long cutscenes again. I really wouldn't mind watching these more than once, but I can see where they were going with it. Because these, these Eidolon fights have, like, these super long cutscenes in the middle of the fight where they're just fighting. So it makes sense you'd want to do a checkpoint so you don't have to watch them again if you fail. These battles definitely seem like more of, the, more of the spectacle than the challenge. But I'm kind of curious to see how hard they get later. Yeah, the first Eidolon battle was straight up a movie. Like, the whole thing was just a movie. This one actually has more to it. But yeah. My arm! They're so brutal, too. They're like Mortal Kombat fights. They're always dismembering each other. It's crazy. Oh, man, the bones building back and everything. Always oh, gonna hit him with the Final Fantasy X Meteor Punch. Take that. <laughs> oh, and he kept the leg in his hand. Oh my god, I love the brutality of these. Yes, the mash square to punch face. See, like, you wouldn't want to replay all of this. So I get the checkpoints, you know. Makes sense. It is a very weird feeling to just kind of just be sitting here waiting for the game to tell me to press buttons. And like, seeing all the damage numbers come off when I'm not doing anything, you know? Very bizarre. But I like it. It's entertaining. Nothing else. Oh, hit her with the hellfire.
200,000 damage. <laughs> Look at that freeze frame. All right, I didn't do anything. Let's freaking go. I stole her money, apparently. She had money. She might be dead. There's a chance. Control it, Clive. It is you, isn't it, Clive? Stop this now. Going full transform. Oh, no, look at Epic. No more old man. Stop. <laughs> You're too nice, is your problem? you've been chasing it was inside you all along <laughs> they'll be damned if I know what that means Why did you have to listen to him? Banner! This can't be what you wanted, can it? I can fix her. Your Majesty! Oh, 
Oh, it's on. King is bold, or desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of Look at this goofball. Quigal's breath fill your wings. Oh boy. Look at that sword. It's only the prince. I was gonna say, are we actually seeing the emperor? I feel like we're not gonna see the emperor for a long time. Oh my god, if the prince is Bahamut, who's the emperor? Bahamut Zero? Dude, the redesigns of these summons are just incredible. Both look amazing. Oh, it's flying! <laughs> he just—he just flies now. Okay, no wings needed. My work here is done. I slightly spooked him. We formed the cohorts. At what? Your Highness. I really like how they're keeping the Emperor a mystery for so long. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the Holy Capital. The Capital? What of my father? His is he... radiance is safe. But he has ordered the city guards strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. That is of no matter. The Emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. I just need one more drink. I love how he has a personal weapon holder. Also, it just phased through the tent. If you notice that. He has a personal weapon holder that just walks around with his weapon. So he doesn't have to hold it. Just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. Do it. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> it was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster, and I deserve to die. So end it! End it now! Please! Please! Ah! I reckon I can take you, if that's what you want. But first... I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. Is there a reason you took his clothes off? It seems to me, you see, 
that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. I'll uh, see you in the hall. <laughs> see you in the hall, buddy. Because when he when he d transformed back into his human form, he had his clothes, right? So like, why did he take his clothes off? I don't understand if he like lost his clothes when he transformed back, but he had his clothes. What are you going to do now? So I kind of want to hold my judgment until after we see what happens after this. Oh, here we go. This is important. There are certain times during the game that side quests will become temporarily unavailable until progress has been made through the main scenario. At such times, quest givers will be indicated with a lock. So the quests aren't missable. There's just some times when you can't do them. Okay. I thought this was going to tell me like, because you know how in the remake where it was like, you can only do quests during these chapters. I thought that's what it was going to say, but it's just saying sometimes you can't do side quests. I mean, I haven't even seen any side quests till maybe now. As well, hear what he has to say. So, first of all, let me just uh, chat about the story here for a second. So, I was—I mean, I'm sure most of us were like pretty certain that he was Ifrit. Like, I, I don't think that's a pretty wild assumption. I think it's—it was kind of obvious that he was Ifrit. Like, maybe he wasn't. Maybe like. I think the um, the obvious was that he was Ifrit, and but then you might think like, oh, maybe he'll throw a curveball at us, and he's not and he's not Ifrit. But I think like the obvious was that he was Ifrit, right? It would have been a wilder twist if he wasn't, basically. That's what I'm saying. But anyways, uh, so. This whole time I was like, yeah, he's probably Ifrit. And we're probably going to have this moment where he realizes he killed Joshua and it's going to affect the story somehow. I was kind of curious how long they were going to hold off on it. Um, but then there was that moment where they were walking up. They just got into Garuda's tornado. And the dominant was there. And... Um... Clive saw him and then he looked over to Sid and Sid said, is that him? Or is that dot, dot, dot. So then I was like, maybe it's not because Sid can see him. You know, because in order for the Ifrit thing to be correct, that dude's probably just a vision, right? So once Sid saw him, I was like, hmm, maybe he isn't Ifrit. And then he ended up being Ifrit. So I'm a little curious about that scene. I kind of need to go back and watch that again. Maybe Clive did something to where Sid knew he was seeing something, but I don't think so. I think he just walked up and they like locked eyes and then he looked at Sid and then Sid was just like, is that? And then... I remember the reaction that Sid had was interesting because the way he responded made it seem like he knew. Like, he had a weird response. So I was like, hmm, maybe he knows he's Ifrit. But it's still weird that he could see the cloaked guy. That's the only thing that's throwing me off. Like, the reaction that Sid had made me think that Sid knew the way that everyone else was acting, the way that he could see, or he could, he had that same sense. I was like, oh, he's definitely a dominant because he has that same sense that all the other dominants have. So all of the proof was leading towards him being Ifrit. But that one little scene where Sid could see the cloaked guy, I, I almost wonder if that was a mistake 
or if there's just something else with that scene that I missed. So that's the only thing that's weird. But other than that, they dropped an, a, a couple of nice hints to where it was like, yeah, it's, he's probably a frit. Plus, that, like I said, that was just kind of the obvious from like the original scene. Like, yeah, he's probably a frit. Um, and the fact that he was rejected, even though he was the firstborn, he was rejected from Phoenix. So like there was always that. Why was he rejected? So like, it makes sense that he was Ifrit the whole time. So there's a bunch of things. It's just that one scene with Sid was weird. I almost wonder if... I almost wonder if that was a mistake or something. But maybe. Maybe something that we see later makes that make sense. Or maybe it was meant to kind of throw us off. And, well, that's a different cloaked guy, though. That I think that's what, um, you know, and obviously, if you know, don't say in the chat. But um, from what I've gathered, I think what happened was there's a cloaked guy who's doing who's some dominant and the cloaked girl who's with him. And he thought that his vision of the cloaked guy was the same guy, but it was actually a different guy. That That's what I'm thinking. So they were leading him towards that dominant, but he was actually having a vision of a different cloaked guy. Basically, Organization 13. <laughs> Basically, we're Kingdom Hearts all over again. But we'll see. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe the other cloaked guy is also a dominant. And, well, I think he is a dominant, but maybe he is that guy. Like, who knows? There could be more twists ahead. But Don't that's why I'm curious. Because I'm kind of wondering... Now. Kind of wondering if that whole Sid thing was just to throw us off and there actually is an excuse for it. I hope there is. I hope it wasn't just like a, a mistake. Oh, look at Torgal waiting for me. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm loyal, but don't be don't be doing anything weird. <laughs> Torg will be like sus. He's either sus or he's like, you better not be offing yourself. I will stop you. I will stop you if you try to hurt yourself. It's either that or sus. I'd like to think he's so loyal that he's just protecting us. Because that's what What's doggos be you? like. What do you want? Oh, we finally got a named weapon. And it looks pretty incredible. Oh, it's just from the wind shard. Okay, so this is uh, a little Souls-esque. We got a shard from a boss that gave us a specific named weapon. I wonder if like all the all the Eidolons will give us a uh, shard for a weapon or if that's just a coincidence yeah finally this is the first weapon that's better than the the pre-order bonus it lost you a good while can i upgrade it no and Yeah, to be fair, a lot of the 10 hours we've played so far has not been combat. But yeah, I mean, we've fought how many bosses at this point and they all would have been like complete pushovers with that weapon. I mean, my weapon... Actually, to be fair, the weapon I just made was as good as my pre-order bonus. You can't pet Torgal there. Get out of here. I tried to. Uh You can't you can't pet him. Look. He's sus. He won't let me pet him. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, chat. Um <laughs> the guy. I pet him earlier. I gave him treats earlier. Uh 
What was I say? You made me lose my train of thought. Um, the weapon I was using for most of the bosses was this. So, like, at that point, I was pretty close to the pre-order, but not there yet. The very beginning of the game, like, the Morble fight would have been hilarious. I would have completely smoked him. But other than that, I think the rest of the bosses, it definitely would have been easier, but it wouldn't have been, like, you know, free. But yeah, pre-order bonuses are dumb. What else is new? Look at my new sword! Finally, a sword that, like, looks cool and is different. It's got a little, like, leaf on the sheath. That's neat. Too bad it doesn't have... Oh, that's right, you don't have it for the Morble fight, do you? Do you? I... I had you can you can answer this, um, because somebody else in the chat said you get it like right away. Do you not get access to this until after the Morble? Okay, so you you'd get it right before Shiva's dominant, which again that fight would be a lot easier too, because you don't have a new weapon yet. That's right. No, we discussed this because. The Morble is when you're young, Clive. So we, we did discuss that. You don't get anything when you're young, Clive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember now. So I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm very curious to see how this cutscene plays out because I'm not sold that Clive is just like ready to go back into action. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. Well, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For nothing. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. He's going to meet us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Okay, so they're just... They're just, like, going on as if... Because Clive doesn't think there is one at all. So that's what's going to kind of keep him in check is like there is another dominant we don't know who he is. And what do you want? Cuz I, I was kind of like, yeah, he's probably just not going to Oh. Breath of wind. Reduces Rook's gambit cooldown. Yeah, I want that. Also, some much better armor. Is that all? Make it quick. What do you want? What do you want? What do I have equipped? Wolf skin. Still don't have a dragon talon. Anything else? Look what the curl dragged in. If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. I'm gonna buy something. If you're gonna buy Summit. My wife says that all the time. She says Summit. <laughs> I'm buy Summit. I don't want to save up for this, but my sash is very out of date. But come on, two health? What is that going to do for me? I have 1,354 HP. What is two HP? Hello? Game? Did we, did we think about these numbers before we... <laughs> come again! Oh, well, we came up with them because what's going on here?
What was the other game we played where I felt like the, uh... The stats were all screwed up. Yeah, picking up two gil and getting two HP. I forget which game it was. We were playing something. Oh, it was Stranger of Paradise. Yeah, funnily enough, another Square Enix game. Another Final Fantasy game. Stranger of Paradise. There's like some absolutely hilarious buffs you get from equipment where it's like plus 0.05% poison resistance. You're like, what is, what is that going to do? <laughs> so many of the buffs are like 0.1%. And I and actually, like, I mean that. I'm exaggerating. It's like 0.1% strength, 0.1% lightning resistance. You're like, what is that nonsense? And I mean, it's fair enough to say it gets better in post game or whatever, but the whole point of equipment and, like, numbers going up is that it's supposed to get you invested you know what i mean like that's the whole idea is you play the game you get better loot like if the loot's not doing anything for you then it's uh it's not doing its job because post game you're just heading towards the strongest thing right so the whole idea of loot throughout the game is to give you these nice uh you know boosts to make you feel stronger give you that dopamine hit of like I'm doing double damage now. Or I'm using this equipment versus this enemy and it's helping. Like So very very strange that they wouldn't think that think about that. Come on. Gav will be waiting for it. Get your stuff together. I got my stuff. My stuff is gotten. I can't believe she's still in the infirmary. Where's my... Where's my girl? <laughs> 